what is snapshot? So here you are saying about seeing about 5% of my banking account. And <clears throat> typically, if we would be reading all of those events one after another, then as I mentioned, we will be increasing or decreasing our balance. So then if we have snapshots, then at some point in time, we would say that, okay, at this point in time, I'm storing the current state of my right model. So I'm just, so does the name. So we are doing a snapshot uh, of what we are uh, building. And funny thing, <laughs> just to make sure that everyone understood what gesture that I did, I heard that right now you are not showing that you are taking photo like that, but like, pep. but sorry. That's my lame joke. So getting back to the snapshot. So it's like taking snapshot of our current state and taking it precisely at, as it is. And then we can do the snapshot, continue to do it after each event. And if we do it like that, then instead of reading this whole stream of events, then we can just read the snapshot value. So instead of, for example, reading those 22,000 of events, we can read only a single record, which sounds like a great optimization, right? So let's discuss that. So if we are storing snapshot after each event to be sure that we are fully optimizing our reads, then we are doubling writes, which might be causing a lot of issues. Because we, of course, we are typically more reading than writing. So typically we are optimizing for reading, but if we are doubling the storage size and doubling the amount of write operation, then it's undeniable that our database usage will cost us much more. So instead of just making our reads uh, uh, so we, our intention is to make our reading events faster, but we are also decreasing the speed of writing. And the writing is much, much harder than, than reading. So our first idea to optimize that could be, okay, then I won't be making snapshot after each event, but instead of that, I will be just doing that once per time once per something. And what is something? How to define something? We will discuss that in a moment. But if we have the snapshot at some point in time, then we can load the snapshot. If snapshot contain also information about the last position on the stream, then we can load all other events that were re uh, registered after we created the snapshot and then we can take it from there, build the state. We should possibly get the manageable amount of events. So for example, if we are doing snapshot once per 20 events, then our reading would be snapshot plus 20 events. So, but again, how often is enough? So can you define how many operations do you have in your system? Or can you define which uh, data is stressed the most? And if you are able to define it, then can you also think on, is the load constant or is it happening on some schedule or randomly? So how often would be enough for your case? to make this snapshot. So every 10 minutes, every day, every 10 events, or maybe every hour or 100 events. So a bit more complex logic. So let's say that either it is every hour or if 100 events happened earlier than every hour, then let's try to make it again. So other idea is maybe every selected type of event. Maybe, maybe we can define that. However, 
to be true, that's a hope driven design because we are hoping that we will be able to precisely set how often is enough. And in many cases, in many industries, like for example, e-commerce, that's almost impossible because it, we might have relatively slow traffic, not a lot of events happening at the regular days, but if we have days like Black Friday or time right before Christmas, or for example, if we are running the mm, eventing system like f f to, to, to register uh, people and for, for concerts like a ticket master, then let's say that Beyonce would come to your hometown then definitely that could be a challenge to, to, to say precisely how often is enough.